Okay, so now I'm going to go through the eye model. Um, a lot of these structures are going to look familiar to you if you've already seen the sheep eye dissection video that I made. Alright, so the first part is that there's three different layers to your eye. So the outer part here, this white part, is called your sclera. Sclera means hard in Greek and it is the tougher part of the eye. Deeper to that is your choroid, which is illustrated purple here, and this has tons of blood vessels in it, and it's really helping feed a lot of the cells in your eye. It also has a lot of melanin in it, and it helps absorb some of the light scatter so you don't overexpose any of the images on your retina. And then a little deeper than that is your retina itself. So this is gonna be the bottom layer. This is where you're gonna find a lot of the photoreceptors that is actually detecting the light. All right, going back here is your optic nerve. So this is what's leaving the eye and going towards your brain. All right, so that's cranial nerve number two. And then if you follow the sclera to here, this is an extension of the sclera. This is called your cornea, and it, it doesn't have a color. All right, this is what's gonna allow light to pass through into your eye. All right, so I'm gonna start taking this apart. I'm gonna try to do this in order. All right, so behind your cornea, this is not your lens, this is your cornea. Your cornea is, its shape is held together by a liquid called your aqueous humor. So there would be liquid in here, very liquidy substance that holds this shape. All right, but right behind that, you're going to see your iris. And your iris is actually what controls the shape of your pupil. So your pupil is just an empty space. It's not a real structure. A lot of people think it is a structure in your eye, but it's not, all right? And the reason the pupil looks black is because all the light scatter that happens inside your eye is absorbed. So there is no light coming back out, so you really don't see anything. That's why it looks black, but really it's just an empty space. And then around it is your iris, and this is really what's controlling the shape of your pupil. Okay. All right, so this is your lens. Your lens is found right behind your pupil, and this is actually what is responsible for focusing light to your retina. So when it will change shape depending if you're looking at something up close versus something far away. And what is controlling the shape of the lens is called your ciliary body. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. I'll put this back in a second. So you have your ciliary body back here, all right, which is composed of your ciliary muscle and your ciliary processes, which are these little things sticking out here. And each one of these processes are going to be attached to one of these fibers. All right, These fibers are called your ciliary zonule. All right, in your ciliary zonule, they're attached to your lens, so as the ciliary body changes shape, it'll either pull on these zonules, flattening the lens, or it'll give slack to the zonules, allowing the lens to bulge out and take its natural shape. Okay, so now moving the lens out of the way, we're going to have our vitreous humor. All right, so light is gonna pass through here. This is thicker than the aqueous humor. So I'm just gonna move that, that's what that's representing. And then light finally hits your retina. All right, so there's different parts of the retina you will have to know. I'm not sure if this is gonna show up on the camera, but all this is retina. And if you notice right here, here is your optic nerve leaving. And so where all the retina kind of funnels together right here is your optic disc. So this is where the retina is going to escape your eye as your optic nerve. And you can't see here, this is a blind spot that we have. There is no photoreceptors right there. All right, another part of the retina you need to know is how the rods and cones are organized. All right, so you do have rods and cones in your retina. That's what's detecting light. Rods detect more of a dim light while cones are what detect color and you have organization to where they are in the retina. Alright, so in general you have a higher concentration of rods towards the periphery of your retina and a higher concentration of cones towards this point right here in your retina. Alright, so we're gonna lose cones as we go to the periphery but we're gonna gain rods as we go to the periphery and vice versa. Okay, towards this structure right here, this is called your macula luteae, and it's an area that has a very high concentration of cones. All right, this yellow spot right here. And in the center of the macula luteae, you have this pit, this indentation. So this is called your fovea centralis, and fovea means pit in Latin, so the central pit, that's what it's translating to. And inside the fovea centralis is nothing but cones. You have no rods in there at all.